I'm Eric Petzinger. I'm the owner of Epica, an antiques and 20th century furniture gallery here in San Francisco, California. And welcome to another installment of What's In at Epica. I'm going to take you back probably to your fifth grade history class when you studied the East India Company. Well, it's going to be pertinent today because the San Francisco Fall Antique Show is just around the corner and this year's theme is all about chinoiserie. And in the 17th century, the East India Company began to trade in the Far East. Beginning in the 18th century, Europe was fascinated by all things from the Orient. And this peaked probably in the mid-18th century, about 1750. Artists in the 17th century went to China and Asia to paint and publish books. And they came back with the first recorded images for Europeans to see of the landscape and the flora and fauna of the area. And it was fascinating for these Europeans to, to see these things for the first time. This fascination with chinoiserie even spread to the crown heads of Europe. They began to collect uh, and also create interiors that were very inspired by the Far East. And a great example, if you haven't seen it, you really should look online, is the Brighton Pavilion. Great examples, great pictures that you can find. And really a, a, a fantasy building um, that really displays the chinoiserie to the nth degree. In the mid-18th century, Louis XV, during the Rococo period, became fascinated as well by chinoiserie. And it was very easy to assimilate the Rococo period with chinoiserie, with its very asymmetrical, light and airy, uh, decorative quality. Um, I'd like to share with you uh, some examples that we have here at Epica. And one is this really well-carved, exuberant mirror that I absolutely fell in love with when I saw it. The crest, as you can see, has some great lattice work, which is very uh, much inspired by chinoiserie decoration, and that wonderful uh, scroll work at the top. And this uh, Louis XV ebonized chinoiserie cabinet from about 1750, with its really delicate and wonderful decoration that's on all sides, the drawers, front, top with the, the displaying architecture and these wonderful people at various leisure pursuits. We have a, a gentleman here fishing, another man here very deep in meditation, and it's all amongst this very fluid and lively flora and fauna, uh, rock work and landscape settings. So if you'd like to see examples of chinoiserie, I hope you can come by to Epica and see these in person. If you can't, you can always visit us online at epicasf.com. Or please stop by the San Francisco Fall Antique Show for a real treat. Um, it's going to be another great year, and we hope to see you there. And thanks for joining us today.